we start off with a little thing. Okay. The, I get Pokemon at a reasonable place. I enjoy it quite a bit. Once I, once I look into it, I see there off the fair. I bought it. I bought it at a cheap price, but the person did not want any money off me. He just gave it to me for free. I thought nothing more of this, and uh, went back to my home. But well, as I did go back to my ho home, I popped the DVD in. It was strange because it was marked Pokemon and nothing else. Okay, so there, there is Pokemon Gotta Capture Mall, but it was marked Pokemon and nothing else, which I thought it was strange. As I popped the DVD in, in, it started up as normal. It had the same theme tune as Gotta Catch Em All. Yep, and everything was alright. Ash Catchem, you know, started his journey off. He was marching happily. Then there was Misty and Brock. Brock was eating broccoli. Misty, Misty, it was walking with Ash. Ash, I really do like the way you walk, said Misty. Thanks, Misty. You walk like a jester. Uh, Misty laughed. Hey, said Ash. I, I don't care how I talk at walk. I'm going to catch all the Pokemon in the world. Blah blah blah. Then, after a little while, the, the disc sort of changed. There was a Hypno. As Ash approached this Hypno, it looked at it, you know, then you saw this flickering image of the, um, of a purple hooded guy and it went. I thought nothing of this. I thought I thought uh, it was maybe a bit of a glitch or whatever. Ash continued his journey. He then went along Before long, Team Rocket showed up. He was... There was a pipe. He, he was... He was... He was... Dan... He was holding on with his hands. Then all his Pokeballs dropped into the lake. Ash swore. He said the F word, which I thought was very odd. Then Jesse swore. Then James swore. In fact, let's all swear. Let's all say the F word, B word, C word, whatever word. I had no idea what was going on. Then. I have never seen a Pokemon episode swear. Then, then Brock made a racist remark. Misty, Misty battled with the Pokemon, but it, it, it sort of deviated away from us. It then turned into a thick 
twisted nightmare. I kept on watching. And there was this hooded guy, purple hooded guy, riding a dragon. Pikachu holded the door open. The Pokemon came through. Through it. The door then shut on him. Not squishing him, but not killing him, you know. And Pikachu opened the door again to let a ch racing Charmander in. Hmm. Then it started up again, revealing more extra stuff. Charmander came in and raced in. So did the rest of the Pokemon. Then, then it still started off before. I watched this five times. On the fifth time, it started up. Everything revealed: the flying hoodie, hoodie, and uh, even Ash Ketchum's face were going off, coming off. So disturbing. Then, when it the most disturbing bit is. Pikachu held the door open for all the Pokemon to. Well, Pikachu. He was holding the door open, there were no Pokemon, and it faded in and out of blackness. Before you know it, Pikachu disappeared. They were no longer to be seen. And then the DVD descended. thought what on earth. I decided to watch it again but the DVD never wanted to play. It was rather strange I thought to myself. Oh well.